What's good y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, it's that time before each and every pay-per-view for WWE and AEW. I do my preview and predictions, man. We got to do the preview and predictions for WrestleMania 38 this year. Night 1 and Night 2. I'm going to drop it all in one video. WrestleMania is here pretty much. This weekend is going to be WrestleMania filled. So, make sure if you guys haven't already... You should be already subscribed to the In The Clutch page because that's what we'll be doing the live stream reactions of WrestleMania this year. Uh, I will be doing the live stream reaction night one with Brandon because Dub is going to be celebrating his birthday this weekend. And then night two, Dub will be back and we'll all be there to see what happens on night two. So be on the lookout for that. And uh, yeah, it should be a good one. But in the meantime, in between time, let's get into this preview and predictions. Go through the matches, who I think is going to win, and the outcome, stuff like that. And uh, let's get into it. So, night one, we're going to start with the Raw Women's Championship. Becky Lynch versus Bianca Belair. I think, in hindsight, we were hoping, me personally, I was hoping this feud would have been a little bit better. You know, but at the end of the day, uh, it's it, the buildup has been okay. It hasn't been bad. Hasn't been fantastic. It's been okay for me. Uh, the way they did Bianca Belair at SummerSlam still is uh, has a sour taste in my mouth. Um, but at the end of the day, I do think Bianca Belair will overcome the odds and be the new Raw Women's Champion. I think they're trying to recreate the moment she had with... Uh, with uh, Sasha Banks last year. I'm not sure if it will be able to be done. But I do think Bianca Belair will get the win. I mean the way they did her. When uh, Becky Lynch came back. She got to get the win here man. Having her lose in like 12 something seconds. Or something like that. 15 seconds or something like that. At SummerSlam was atrocious. She needs to get her win back. So hopefully Bianca Belair can get the dub. But I'm going with her to win it. A match I don't care for. The Miz and Logan Paul versus the Mysterios. Honestly, the way things planned, panned out at Monday Night Raw, I can, I'm going to be honest, bro. I can see WWE giving the Miz and Logan Paul the win here. <clears throat> I'm being dead serious. I can see the Miz and Logan Paul getting the win here. This will be Logan Paul's first ever <laughs> WrestleMania win, he'll be able to say I'm undefeated at WrestleMania. Yeah. I can see the way Monday Night Raw played out where pretty much uh, the Miz end up uh, losing or whatnot. Uh, yeah, and Rey Mysterio got his mask back. I, I just, I feel like the Miz and Logan Paul, they'll probably give it to them. I can, I can see that happening. That's just my personal opinion, do I want it to happen? No, I don't care for this match as much, but I do see The Miz and Logan Paul winning. We got Seth Rollins versus The Mystery Opponent. Now, there's been a lot of scary rumors that The Mystery Opponent may be none other than Here Comes the Money, Shane McMahon, which I hope and pray that is not the case, man. Definitely, I, I, I'm praying that's not the case. Could WWE swerve us and have Shane McMahon be the person and maybe have a situation where we hear Shane's music, he comes out, and then uh, he ends up getting attacked by Cody Rhodes, maybe. Or maybe he comes out and he is actually Seth Rollins' opponent, and then Cody Rhodes come out on Monday Night Raw. Who knows, but I, I'm i hoping it's Cody, man. I'm they. It's, it's just been leaked and teased. Um, I, and plus, Seth Rollins has been saying stuff about AEW. So, I'm, I'm hoping it's Cody. But I wouldn't put it past him to be Shane. I'm still going with Cody here. So, I hope it'll be Seth Rollins versus Cody. And, of course, Cody's going to get the dub there. All right. We got Drew McIntyre versus Happy Corbin. Do I care? No. Who will win? Drew McIntyre. There it is. There it is. In the feud. Move on to something else. Drew McIntyre will win that match. Now, something a little bit more interesting. SmackDown Tag Team Championship. J the Usos, J Jay and Jimmy versus uh, Rick Boogs and Shinsuke Nakamura. Sorry, they're not losing. <laughs> the, the, the Usos are not losing the Tag Team Championships. The only time I see the Usos losing those titles is when I'm when it's, it's starting to look like the bloodline's about to fall apart. 
because they will end up losing the titles first before Roman does. So as long as they have the titles for a minute, Roman's going to have the title. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, they're not losing to them. They're going to remain the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, and that's just what it's going to be. SmackDown's Women's Championship, Charlotte Flair versus Ronda Rousey. Not as invested in this feud or this matchup. I'm just going to be honest with you. Uh, Ronda's winning this. You don't bring Ronda back. You don't have her win the Royal Rumble only to have her lose to Charlotte Flair still. Like, nah, bro, she's winning that match. That's, we don't even have to worry about that. Ronda Rousey is definitely winning that match. Hopefully, it's good. Hopefully, it's better than expected. But ultimately, Ronda is going to win that match. And then the main event, which is crazy, but I'm okay with this potentially being the main event. Stone Cold Steve Austin appears on the KO show, hosted by Kevin Owens. I think it's just going to be a brawl. I think it's going to be a fun brawl segment for us to get, for us nostalgic wrestling fans to get our fix, to see Stone Cold <clears throat> once again out of WrestleMania stunning somebody. I think that's all we want to see. A brawl, that's about it. I don't think it's going to be a match. Will this potentially create a future match for Stone Cold? I don't know. Me personally, I prefer not to see it considering he hasn't really wrestled in like 19 years like that. I don't think we need to see that match. But if he was to have a future match, it got to make sense with somebody. It, it has to make sense. And only if, you know what I'm saying, he's comfortable out there, you know. You know, that just, that all depends on how he feels about his body being able to move around. But the one thing I can always respect about Stone Cold, he never wanted to take the spotlight from anybody from what I can tell. And he was always turning out Vince for many years on matches. You know, he, he, he wanted to stay retired and, and just live out his life. And there's nothing wrong with that. I can respect someone that is like, you know what, I love that. I love the business, but it's not my time no more. So, I know a lot of you guys were like, oh, I would love to see Stone Cold wrestle again. And I think it would be cool. But at the same time, we've seen it time and time again where some people should have stopped when they had the chance. Because let's be honest, their matches are not going to be the same, you know. It's just their body can't move the same. But we will see how things play out in the future. But I'm okay with that in and off night one. And that's uh, my thoughts and predictions on my preview and predictions on night one. Night two. Let's get right into it, man. Let's start off with Edge versus AJ Styles. Looking very forward. Oh, man. I can't wait to see this match. This match is going to be fantastic. I hope it is. I'm going to give. This is a tough one. This is, I've been really racking my brain trying to figure out who I'm going to give the win here. Um, Edge has the new theme music. He, he's a heel now. He He's he's in his bag. And it... it, 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 it it's tough to have someone that got new theme music, this, this, this new version of himself to lose. But AJ Styles needs a win. AJ Styles definitely needs a solo win. And this will be a very big win for him at WrestleMania. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I think. Ah, damn. I think AJ Styles will win. I think AJ Styles will win this match, but I also think when AJ Styles wins, I think Edge may attack him at the, at the end of it. I think they're going to continue this feud. This 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 can't be a one-and-done situation. I think AJ Styles will win at WrestleMania, and then they'll have another, you know, they're going to do WrestleMania backlash, and I can see Edge maybe getting the, 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 the victory there. Or, you know, whatever they call the next pay-per-view. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be WWE WrestleMania Backlash. You know how they do it. And I can see them maybe getting three matches out of it. And probably Edge winning a few. But AJ will, um, in my opinion, I think he will. And does, he needs this win over Edge. The version of Edge we got now at WrestleMania. So that's my pick on that one. Women Tag Team Championship. Queen Zelina, Carmella versus Naomi and Sasha Banks versus Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan versus Natalia and Shayna Baszler. Who do I have winning? Um, I don't even know, to be honest with you. I know a lot of people are kind of really riding the Sasha Banks and, uh, and Naomi vibe right now. I think they should win it. I, I wouldn't be okay. I wouldn't have a problem with them winning it because... 
you can obviously I just at some point Sasha's gonna turn on Naomi We're, and that that would be an interesting view Sasha versus Naomi I'm okay with that so I think if you put the belt on them have them win at Wrestlemania then have them lose it at some point and then Sasha could possibly turn so that's just where I'm thinking with it. Um, I hadn't really been too invested in this match, but I, I'm going to go with them. Uh, I see it seems like the fans' favorites, and I wouldn't mind seeing Naomi as a the women's tag champion and, on, and Sasha as well. So, going with them. Pat McAfee, Austin Theory, was not really excited about this match at first, but <clears throat> Pat McAfee is a gym. Austin Theory starting to grow on me more as a heel. And um, they've really been ramping up their their the feud, so <clears throat> I think this is gonna be one of the matches like the last um, last year with the Bad Bunny. Not even though we know Pat McAfee can go in the ring as well. His feud with uh, Adam Cole and NXT, he can actually go in the ring surprisingly. So I do think this match will be good, and uh, I I think honestly this is an interesting one. Because you don't want Austin Theory to lose to someone that's not, like, really a wrestler, a commentator. But at the same time, you can have him lose that only because of his gimmick and his character. You know what? <clears throat> I think Pat, Maf Pat McAfee will win it. I think Pat McAfee will get the dub here. And I think this will surprisingly be a fun match. I think this will be a fun match. Match I'm not really invested in, don't really care for. Sami Zayn versus Johnny Knoxville. I know they've been doing some little antics here and there uh, on social media. I don't really care. Sami Zayn will win. I, I don't care. Unless they, I I, I just don't. I, I, I want to be invested. Not really. I, I feel like there's another match that could be replaced this one. Maybe like a mid card match, a mid card title match, but don't really care. Raw Tag Team Championship. <clears throat> RK Bro versus the Street Profits versus Alpha Academy. Apparently, the Street Profits are heels now, and Alpha Academy have been heels. Uh, triple threat for the title. Um, I think the RK Bro is going to retain it. I, I just I feel like they're going to retain it. Um, you can keep the... I, if some point, I do feel like the Street Profits will win it at some point as... As they're being heels now, but I think RK Bro retaining it would be the better option in my personal opinion. And then we have Bobby Lashley versus Omos. Um, this is an interesting one. You can tell WWE is trying to make Omos the next great Kali, the big guy that can barely move, but you know, it looks like he could probably step on you. Um, Bobby Lashley's coming back from injury. This is also another a tough one for me. I'm really thinking, I want to say, I don't know. I think, give it, I know they're trying to go with Omos as the next big threat. So the only reason I'm, I'm honestly thinking, just this will be, Bobby Lashley will be a face here. I think Omos will win. I think he will win because they're, they're pushing him. They're pushing him to be a next big threat, and at some point he will go for the uh uh for the title. At some point, it'll probably be on someone that's a face. And I don't know how they're gonna do the whole title situation. We're gonna get into that uh, in a few, but I think Omos will win it because they're just they're pushing him. Best believe he will have some type of championship this year. I'm willing. I'm telling you this now. And of course, the main event of WrestleMania 38, both nights, title versus title, Roman Reigns. Universal Champion versus Brock Lesnar, the WWE Champion, who will come out as the undisputed champion. It's fucking Roman, bro. What are we talking about? No. Brock, I love, I've been enjoying and slightly loving Brock Lesnar's character, the, the road cowboy. Um, but at the end of the day, man, Brock is... Even though he has been here, I will say this. This is the most we've ever seen Brock Lesnar in a very long time. And I'm talking about consistently. That was my only thing with him winning the championship. Was he going to be on the show? Well, guess what? He's been on the show. He's been on both shows consistently. So I will say that. It is a much better improvement. But ultimately, Roman's the guy. 
Roman is the top guy right now in the industry. He's the top guy in WWE. You don't have him built up this amazing title reign. Go, he literally went through the SmackDown roster. You don't have him do that just to have him lose to Brock. And Brock is no slouch, but Brock doesn't need this. He doesn't need the unified championship. And I get a lot of you guys are wanting Brock to win. You want to want to switch it up. But you got to ask yourself at the same time, if Brock was to win, who would legitimately take those titles from him outside of Roman? And then you can say the same thing. Well, if Roman was to win, who would take it? I think there's, you could build up someone more believable to take the titles uh, from Roman than you could with Brock. Because Brock is... He's on, he, he's legit. You know what I'm saying? Not to say Roman doesn't have legit characteristics about him. Brock is, Brock is, he can legit damn near kill you. You know what I'm saying? So I, me personally, it has to be Roman because now it would have been two WrestleManias back to back where he's won and he's, and he, he's, he's been the guy. This would, solid, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I know we're tired of seeing this match between these guys. They've main evented multiple WrestleManias. This would be something that we that would make him even higher than what he is. This puts him on a, a just a bit higher because of the titles, because of the fact that he's never beaten Ro uh, Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. That's another thing too. You do not. You guys remember when Stone Cold was going against The Rock at WrestleMania, and he was having those nice main events, and it was finally the last one when The Rock finally got the dub over Stone Cold. This is a similar situation. You have to. I'm sorry. You have to have Roman win this match because if you don't have Roman win this match and you take out everything else, this will always be the thing Well, Roman was able to dominate for two-plus years, but when it came to Brock, he couldn't get the job done. Roman has never beaten Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. He can't get, he can't beat him. And no one's going to want to see it for a fourth time. No, you end it here. You end their little saga here. Have Roman Reigns win the championship, both, both titles, retain Universal, win the WWE, unify the titles, and he'll, and this will be a poetic way because he, he, he ended up beating Brock in this particular match. Will there be some shenanigans? Of course there's going to be some shenanigans. Would I love for Roman Reigns to beat him clean? Yes, I would love that. Do I think it's going to happen? Um, I don't know. I, I don't. I, I hope they pull some type of audible and have Brock beat him clean. Because I think if you do that, that even enhances Roman Reigns' title win. Because if he has Roman, if they have Roman beat him like in a heel-like fashion, like cheating, in a sense, it's always going to be that asterisk. I want, this needs to be a clean win. I hope it is a clean win. I hope it's a situation where maybe Brock takes out the Usos. Like he eviscerates them. So now Roman has no other choice but to do it by himself. And he actually does it without cheating. I think that would be cool. So I don't know. It's uh, that I'm really stuck on just Roman winning it. And we see, you know, what the tribal chief does with both championships. So after getting all this out the way uh, on paper for me personally, night two is looking way better than night one. You know, just the matches that I want to see. Of course, the Roman Reigns match I want to see. Edge versus AJ Styles. That's a match I'm interested in. Pat McAfee, Austin Theory, um, slightly interested in. I think it's going to be better than um, <clears throat> than expected. And the Raw Tag Team Championships, I think that's going to be a entertaining match. Uh, for me, the only thing on night one that really has my excitement is, of course, the Stone Cold Steve Austin situation. Uh, Seth Rollins and who his opponent may be. If it's Shane, I don't give a fuck. If it's Cody, yes, sign me up. Um, slightly interested, slightly interested in the Becky Lynch, Bianca. I just want them to really make the right decision booking wise. So that's kind of where that is and everything else. I'm not, oh, and the SmackDown tag team championships, even though I'm not really as invested in that match 
do i think they'll have a good match maybe possibly i just feel like the raw tag team championship match is going to be better than the smackdown just in terms of like excitement level so and i i just have a good feeling that uh the usos will retain so it's like i'm not as invested but maybe they could still the show on night one as a tag team match so but overall for me night two i'm definitely looking more uh, looking forward to more but I just wanted to say, hey, man, I appreciate all the love and the support. Comment down below. Let me know what are your uh, previews and predictions for night one, night two. Who, um, what night, which night are you looking forward to the most? And do you feel like there's going to be some uh, some more surprises at WrestleMania, a.k.a. maybe The Rock returning? Who knows? Comment down below. Let me know. But I appreciate all the love and support. Roll to 80K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.